Today, I'll be reviewing FaceForm, which allows you to transform videos of anyone into another character with a single image. It also allows you to create lip sync talking avatars with a single image. You can face swap images and videos with a single image, and you can replicate old videos and images using prompts. You can recreate them. Now, I'm going to do a full review of this product here. I'm going to show you a full demo, uh, but in case you're interested, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. It will redirect you to my website where you can find all the information needed, like the pricing, available upgrades, some bonuses that you're going to get if you pick this up through my link. So make sure to check that out. Also, please hit a thumbs up if these videos are useful to you. For now, let's dive into it and let me show you uh, how this platform works, Faceform. So basically this comes with Synthesis. This is Synthesis where they have all the tools available. I've reviewed multiple Synthesis products before, as you know, uh, and this one can be found in your Synthesis lab here. It's called Faceform. Uh, it's the newest creation of Synthesis. So when you open this, you will have four options here, like transform, talking avatar, face swap, and replicate media. So we go from the left to the right. So the first one is transform. Now, when I click this button here, you can see that it opens up uh, the videos that I have already have created with this platform. So let me open this one. I took a picture here of Woody. I recreate or I created this image myself. This is not the real Woody. Uh, but what you're seeing right here, this is my video. Now look at look what I'm doing here in this video. So I'm doing these mouths here. Well, as you can see, this is my facial expression. I'm also a little bit talking. So what you can do is you can upload a picture here, then you can upload a video with you moving, doing expressions, and those expressions will be moved toward the final video. Now look at this. Here's the final video. Well, as you can see, this is my facial expression and I can talk with my voice and I can put that into any other character. How cool is that? You see, so it's taking my expressions. The lip syncing on this one isn't perfect. Uh, the other ones are better, I have to say, uh, but for the get gestures, gestures, uh, it does a perfect job. So let me show you another one here. I took Todd Cross here as an example here in this project. So look at this here. You can see Todd. Ooh, wow. <laughs> look at this, man. You can move your hat and the image at the other side or the video will do exactly what you're saying. So you can see here at the top, it's a little bit off, but that's because the picture was to the top. So I also created here another one. So this is the video that I used again. Ooh, wow. <laughs> and that's what is being created here. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Look at this, man. You can move your hat and the image at the other side or the video will do exactly what you're saying. So you can create all of these uh, images, videos based on a single picture. Now, when you let me refresh the screen so I can create a new project here. If you do not have a picture here, let me move back here. You can also type describe your character and click create to generate. So it's also an image generator to create a face uh, that you want to create here. It will upload that image and you can use that image. And that's basically what I've done with this character. This is an AI generated image that I've used to create the final result. So that's what you can do with transform. You can upload any of your videos um, and then move your head around and you can make any picture moving. Then when we go to the next one, you can create talking avatars. Now, I really like this one uh, because this one allows you to do so funny things. So for example, you can upload a picture again here, a photo, and then you can type your script here. So what I've done here, I took this photo and I took a photo of Buzz Lightyear. Also, I generated this with AI myself. And then I created some kind of an invitation for a birthday party. So this is one. Let me actually open my video editor because I exported this. And this is what it creates. So I created multiple scenes. So here's one. And then you have Buzz Lightyear here. Uh, then we have another one here, Woody. But listen to the end result here. 
Howdy, partners. We have a rootin' tootin' announcement to make. That's right, Woody. To infinity and beyond, we're inviting you to an out-of-this-world birthday party. So dust off those boots and get ready to celebrate. Join us for games, laughter, and Space Ranger fun. Yee-haw! We can't wait to see you there, partners. To infinity and your birthday. See you soon, Tater Tots. So you can see that it looks pretty cool, right? So that's what I've done with the talking avatar. So basically what you do is you upload your avatar. So let me actually uh, grab this avatar here that I created. So I think it's this one. Yeah, so this is the still image. You can upload that one so it will appear here. And then you can simply type your script. Now you can do it two ways. You can generate audio, so this will be text to speech, or you can upload your own audio with your own voice as well. In this case, we're gonna do text to speech. So we're gonna say here, hey guys, did you know that Tim is an awesome guy? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Something like this. And then you can choose from the voices. So here, when you scroll down, you can select the voices. So you can listen to these voices here. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you have selected. Or this one. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you have selected. So I, in this example, I used Finn. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you have selected. I like this one. It's like of a character, but you have Hello. multiple voices here. This is a demo of the voice you have. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you have selected. Hello. This is a demo of the voice you have selected. Hello, this is a demo of the voice you have selected. Hello, this is a demo of the voice I've you have selected. I use this one for Buzz Lightyear. So let's say we, we take Finn here. Hello. So you select Finn here and then you click on this generate audio button and now it will generate a voiceover for you and you can play that in here. Hey guys, did you only know that Tim is an awesome guy? <laughs> Okay, so let's keep it this way. You can always change this if you don't like the whoa, -ho, but let's keep it this way. And then you can simply click on generate video and it will generate the video for you. You can see it here at the left bottom, it's 3%. So I will get back to you a little later. I'm gonna show you the other results here or the other things that you can do uh, with face form. And then we come back to the library here to show you what it created from the text to speech. And again, you can also import your own audio with your own voice as well. The next one here, so let me refresh this. Somehow I need to refresh in order to get to the next one, is face swap. So let me open this one again. So what you can do here is you can take any image in here. So what I've done here, maybe you can see the faces already, who I took here. So let me open this one. And this is the image that I uploaded. So from Leonardo here. And this is the video that I created. So here's a quick demo video to show you what is possible with synthesis face swap. So, and then this was the end result. So here's a quick demo video to show you what is possible with synthesis face swap. So you can see it took this image, it swapped the face with me here, and now this is Leonardo. It's not 100%, but you can definitely see that this is this person, right? The same thing here for this one. Look at this. Um, here you can see the comparison. So I don't have the skin color, but you can definitely see that I have the same kind of face. So here's the same thing. So here's a quick demo video to show you what is possible with synthesis face swap. So it needs, it needs some improvement in, in all honesty here. Let me enlarge it. So here's a quick demo video to show you what is possible with synthesis face swap. So that's what you can do with face swap. You can do the same thing for images as well. So when you upload an image in here, and I also done that. Um, am I saying this correctly? Let me check. Nope, I haven't done that. So basically you can do exactly the same thing uh, with images. So it will be an image like this instead of a full video. The next option here is to replicate media here. So basically what you can do is you can upload any video and then you can give it a prompt here and it will create another video. So let's say you have a stock video. So let me open this one so that you can see what I mean. So this, for example, is a stock video that I've used here. So look at this. This is the original stock video. So here I did a prompt, for example, a brown guy with a cap. Uh, and then it created this video. You see that? So you can use existing uh, media and it will create another video from the existing media here. So I took the same video to generate another kind of video here. Look at this. So this is another one here. You see this? Now it's a blonde guy walking 
in the same area here. So here is another one. So this was the original, like this one. So this is kind of an Asian woman, I think. And then I said, hey, change this to something like this. Now you can see here it needs improvement, this video. So some videos will be better than the others, but you can take existing media and then create that into another video. Now the same thing can be done for images here. So you upload an image in here. So let me take this man walking. You can take this man, for example, and then you can describe what to do. So you could say, I want to have an, uh, let's say if this works, old man walking in New York. And then you click on generate image now. Now here you can also see other images that I've created. Let me open them on my computer here. There you go. So this is an image that I created. This is an image. This is another image. Oh, this is Todd here. Let me remove Todd. I think I removed those images. Let me quickly grab them. There you go. I was in the wrong folder. So you can see the original picture here of this man. And I said here, create a man with a beard. Here's another one. And here's another one. So all look exactly the same, but they're totally different. So this is the original image. This is the one that it created. It created this one, this one. And then also the one that we just created, we said, hey, an old man walking in New York. It's the same kind of image. And here you have that old man walking in the same position as this guy here. So that's possible here uh, with the image. And the same thing, of course, with video, like I just showed you. Now, let me go back here to the face swap part. Actually, uh, it was the talking avatar that we created here. Remember uh, with Woody, this is the one that we created where I said, hey, Tim is an awesome guy, right? Remember, so this is the final end result. Hey guys, did you only know that Tim is an awesome guy? Oh. <laughs> Let me zoom in so you can see better. Hey guys, did you only know that Tim is an awesome guy? Oh. <laughs> but you can type anything you like to in here and it can create all these things just like I showed you. When you download these videos and you just paste them together, you can create some pretty cool videos like I just showed you. And that's basically uh, what Faceform is all about. From Synthesis, they come out with new solutions all the time. Again, if you're interested, check out the link in the description for the pricing, um, funnel details, bonuses that you're going to get. And uh, again, hit the thumbs up if this video was useful to you. Uh, also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.